Hey there, it's Patrick from Polygon.com, joined by the large and powerful Charlie Hall. Uh, we're doing what we like to do on Tuesdays, uh, standing in very loud, crowded buildings, talking about video games. And uh, the game we're talking about right now is called Far Cry 5. Uh, you got a longer demo of this than I did at the E3 event. I played a bit at the PlayStation 4 event. Uh, tell me what you thought of Far Cry 5. I actually played through it two times. It was, it was pretty great. It was a private Ubisoft event that uh, they hosted last night. And yeah, I started off jumping into the game with Boomer, who I think is my new favorite pupper. Yes. Uh, Boomer is a dog companion in Far Cry 5, and he attacks enemies for you, either on his own, or you can actually command him to move to a place, to stay, or to go and like rip the weapons out of their hands, or, or bite them fiercely. Yeah, we saw some of that in the trailer yeah. uh, as well. Yeah, but the, the companion character seems to be one of the big things that's coming back to this one. Otherwise, a little, I mean, just let's just throw it out there. It's Far Cry. It right. plays exactly like Far Cry, but they've brought back the companion system, which is something actually from the second game. Uh, uh, you can choose companions to go on you with missions. Uh, if you get downed, they will come to your aid right. and pick you up. I saw that a couple times in the person before me playing, but I also went with Boomer, the stealth dog. Mm -hmm. uh, so gameplay-wise, uh, is there anything that you noticed uh, is you know starkly different from three or four of the most recent uh, entries in the series? Well, the, the, the difference that came to mind was actually from two, right? You mentioned those companion characters. Yeah. They're not just coming in to save your bacon when you're down. Yeah. They actually are there providing support with you all the time. In Far Cry 2, it felt like they just kind of, they mysteriously came out of nowhere mm -hmm. to help you in your time of need, and you bonded over your wounds or something. Yeah. But no, they're just there, and you can call in a sniper shot. Uh, with Nick Rye, you can bring in air support. He'll come and drop a bomb and strafe. And the biggest change, the thing that I enjoyed the most, was actually the flight mechanics. I got inside Nick Rye's pontoon plane and I was running around doing a mission late in my first playthrough of the demo. Traditionally with Far Cry games, when you're driving, yeah. you're able to look around sure. and it's distracting to me. I don't need to look out the passenger side window when I'm driving a car. Yeah. In an airplane, it's vital. You're able to look out to your left and yep. line up that approach shot so you can get in there and, and get a good target run. Cool. Yeah, I didn't get to fly any planes in my demos in a much more condensed area where you're, you're just doing a single... Uh, a single stronghold takeover, or whatever the, they're, they're calling stronghold takeovers in this one. Um, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Mechanically, it played just like Far Cry. Uh, apparently, you will be able to go prone in the full version, oh, uh, which nice. was not in the one that we played. Uh, this is a weird part place to have this sort of discussion, but uh, did playing it clear up any of the sort of um, thematic stuff for you that's going on with it? Obviously, I'll let you go first, then I'll share my thoughts. <laughs> well, it's, it's interesting. They definitely want to, like, they want to come close to the third rail here with yeah. their discussion of white nationalism, of states' rights, of property and land management. If you look at the, the poster behind us, the art here today, they've actually got a, a federal marshal tied down to the top of a sedan. Um, so there's, there's a lot of anti-government in yeah. the marketing. I didn't feel it so much in the gameplay. Yeah, so uh, an interesting thing that I noticed in the gameplay is that, you know, in the marketing, uh, th there's a lot of... Uh, co-opting of, uh, you know, white supremacist imagery. There's the Iron Cross on certain things. Right, right, But then right. when I was fighting these cult members, who I presume were part of this racist cult, it was a kind of diverse group of people, which is strange because it's like, so you're going to borrow the imagery, but you're not going to commit to the ideology and actually have these be what they say they, or what they look like. Well, uh, I, I, it I, might be a little early to say. I spent a lot of time questioning the, uh, the executive producer, Dan Hay, when I was in L.A. a, a couple of weeks ago for Judges Week, and really they... He focused ever more on the discussion of a religious cult. Yes. It, they, it wasn't something that they wanted to talk about uh, militias or anything like that. They wanted to talk more about the religious cult and, and less mm -hmm. the white nationalism. The thing that really was different for me, though, compared to... Remember those early trailers that we saw, kind yep. of those uh, those tone videos of yeah, all the different yeah, characters? Yep. The characters didn't feel as complex, as deep, and as nuanced mm -hmm. as they were in those tone videos. Like, I, I hung out with Nick Rye for a little bit, and he just... He was kind of boorish, and he was really aggressive and yeah. foolhardy. It, he didn't have that, um, that soft side, that fear, yeah. that empathy that he seemed to have in those early tone videos. It was a very different character that I met in-game. Yeah. The thing that I'm looking forward to the most is getting out of this postage stamp-sized demo environment that they brought here to E3. It's really small. It's beautiful, and you can see for miles, but you just can't go anywhere. Far Cry, uh, for me, is all about exploration and finding new routes and getting around enemies and finding new locations, and that's what I'm really looking forward, forward to, because Montana in this game, it's just gorgeous. Cool. We got more coming from the floor of E3 here in Los Angeles. Thanks, Pat.